As we're looking in the Bible for a strategy for reaching lostness in a community, we see in the Gospels that Jesus is modeling a pattern that the disciples follow in the book of Acts. And there's five parts of his strategy that he's modeling. The first is entry strategy, which answers the questions of who do we reach and how do we engage them. The second part is you know, gospel. How do we communicate the gospel in a way that's biblical so God can use it, but simple so that it can reproduce? The third is discipleship. How do we teach new believers to obey Jesus, including His Great Commission? Fourth is church. How do we gather believers together to form a community that the Bible calls church so they can be all that He's called them to be? And lastly is He had a plan for reproducing leaders. How do we identify and develop leaders so we can see this whole thing reproduce. Each one of these parts needs to be biblical, but also simple enough so that it can reproduce and we can see multiplication to fourth generation and beyond. So go ahead and turn to your training buddy and practice those five parts of Jesus' strategy. Now to help us remember, we're going to illustrate these five parts in a drawing called the Four Fields. This came out of uh, a movement in Asia. So we've got a, a farmer who enters into an empty field where there's nothing growing. And he does what every good farmer would do. He sows seed, not just sparingly, but he sows the seed broadly all over the field, scatters the seed. And that farmer cannot cause the seed to sprout, but once it does sprout, there's things he can do to help nurture it and help it grow, like make sure it gets water and enough sunlight. And, and then once it's fully grown, he puts the sickle to it and gathers it together. And he takes some of the seed from the harvest and he uses it to cause the process to reproduce over and over again. Well, as we see this farming illustration, we take the five parts and fit them in here. Uh, so the empty field represents entry of uh, where's the lostness at where there's nothing growing and how do we engage them? And the seeded field represents the gospel. How do we communicate the gospel? How do we sow seed among lostness? The third is discipleship. How do we help these new believers grow and become healthy followers of Jesus who obey Him, including His Great Commission. The fourth field, the harvest field, is, is church. How do we gather them together into a, a biblical community the Bible calls church so they can be everything God's called them to be? And then this middle portion is leaders. This is how we would see this whole thing reproduce downstream is by identifying and raising up leaders. So go ahead and practice that four fields illustration with those five parts in there.